Hey, what's up guys? I'm Praetorian and welcome back to Arts Prime 4 as we are playing as the French Empire in the Law of Resistance expansion. Uh, so, so before we get started today, uh, I, I do need to quickly, uh, you know, mention that there may be some changes in my schedule soon. Well, there's going to be lots of changes in my schedule soon. I, I don't know if uh, it's going to affect the channel at all. I actually found out about this last week, uh, but I didn't want to bring it up in any of those videos because there's already been far too many of these these intros uh, in, these, in this series, uh, a lot more than I typically do, simply because of, of you know the obvious uh, world situation that's happening right now. Uh, but basically what's going to be happening, guys, is my hours are going to be getting cut. Now, technically, they're staying the same because I'm actually only scheduled 20 hours, uh, but I, I cover a lot of shifts. I typically cover uh, to anywhere from one to three shifts uh, per week uh, that aren't that I'm not not scheduled for, uh, that I cover for, you know, people that can't come to work or, or you know, just, just whatever, right? Uh, I'm not going to be doing that any longer. Uh, they said they don't need me to cover shifts anymore, uh, and I don't have any shifts that I'll be covering over the next several weeks. And as uh, far as I know, I won't be covering any more shifts. And then I'm only going to be working the 20 hours, and in fact, I might be losing one of my shifts. Uh, not 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 this week or next, but uh, a couple weeks uh, from now, I might be losing a shift. I might only have my Sunday shift uh, because we just hired two people. Before this had happened, my work had asked me if uh, I was willing to go back to full-time work, which I told him no because you know my kids are home, uh, which I know I'll talk about that here in a minute. But you know, I told I told him no, and uh, so now I think they're kind of like pushing me out a little bit. I didn't expect that. Uh, I thought I would just better keep working my tw you know 20 hours plus whatever shifts I I cover, but apparently that's not the case. It would have been nice if they would have told me that. Uh, but yeah, I just you know with the kids home, I, I didn't want to go back to full time, and it's not really necessary. You know, with the YouTube, we're we're earning enough money to where I don't need to work full time anymore. Uh, so so yeah, I told them no, and and I think that's uh, having some negative effects now because uh, they've got me training two new workers that they just hired, uh, including one female uh, security officer security guard, uh, whatever you want to call us, uh, which we haven't had uh, many females at all. Like we've had one whole time I've uh, work, been working in private security. We had one female uh, security guard and she only worked for maybe three to four weeks. Uh, I trained her and then like three to four weeks she she quit because she decided to move to another state or whatever. Uh, so yeah, we don't typically have a, a f uh, female security guard. So we actually have one that I'll be training uh, with another, another guy. So I'm training these two. Uh, over the next two weeks, I think, is a week and a half or so. It doesn't really take that long to train for our job, but they always give extra time. So yeah, I'm going to be doing that, so I won't be working my normal shifts. They just got me training these two. And uh, then after that, I really just don't know what's going to happen, guys. Uh, I feel like they're, they're I'm not going to get many hours uh, from this point on. And, um, you know, there's some some bad with that. Obviously, there's the, the financial uh, repercussions of that. Uh, if I end up getting less hours than I'm, I'm used to. Uh, but there's also, you know, there's good, and that's in the fact this Thursday, my kids are starting their distance online learning. Like, they're going to start having, like, online classes and testing and all kinds of crazy stuff that the school is starting this week. And they've been sending us, like, messages about it over the last week. And we've already kind of, uh, we're, I mean, this is what, what's happening in this this crisis. Parents are, are homeschooling their kids now. That's that's effectively what this is. Uh, you know, I've already, you know, they had like a big old packet uh, that they've been working on over the last two weeks, and I've already been helping them with that. And now there's going to be even a bigger role that, you know, parents have to play because, you know, they're online and they, they need, uh, they got a lot more homework. They got this online testing they have to do. I think there's this mistaken belief that everybody is like on quarantine here in America. We're all just sitting on our houses not doing anything, so therefore... You can, you know, uh, teach your kids, be, become your teachers, uh, become your, your kids' uh, teachers now. But, you know, isn't it like four in five Americans are like essential employees uh, that are working? You know, that's the, I know that some countries are completely shut down, but not here in America. Here in America, it's like the roads are still busy as usual. Every time I, we go out and go to the store, it's still packed. Uh, I mean, if you go in rush hour here, it's still traffic. Uh, it doesn't feel like uh, how it does in some other places. Not here in Colorado Springs, anyway. Uh, I don't know if it's just because everybody's an essential employee or what the deal is, but most people are working right now. Uh, I know that there's, again, there are that select few uh, people whose, whose jobs have shut down, um, but a lot of people are still are still working. Uh, so I don't know, you know where schools get this, that we're all just sitting at home not doing anything. Uh, but I think most people are, are out there working, but now you also have to take on the, the responsibility of, you know, homeschooling your kids, uh, which, you know, I would say it's your responsibility to teach your kids anyway. But of course, it's it's something different that we weren't all expecting. So 
I would say that this is not like an entirely bad thing because it will allow me to kind of focus a little bit more on on you know their instruction you know trying to help them out with all their schoolwork uh, which is getting kind of overwhelming there's a lot to it with this this online thing so there's that element which is going to be nice uh, that I can kind of help with that a bit more but but basically what I'm trying to say here is that I'm going to have a lot of changes in my schedule that may affect content I don't know uh, I don't know how it will affect it just yet but basically I'm a uh, you know my whole schedule at work is changing up I'm going to be doing something different I guess and I don't know how many hours I'm going to be getting uh, and then, of course, the, the the kids this Thursday start their, their online learning, so I'm maybe playing a role in that and helping them out there. Uh, so I don't know how things are going to change, how things are going to be affected. I'm going to try and keep uh, content to be as consistent as possible. Uh, and you never know. If I'm working less, maybe I'll be able to do a bit more. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to see, guys. Frankly, Jinx and I have not been putting out much content, so, uh, I mean, you know, frankly, because we haven't seen each other much. So if, if we were to create more content, I'd like it to be on that side of things rather than on the stuff I do here because uh, I am putting out, you know, what, nine videos a week right now of, of Hoi4. So if I did have more time, it'd probably be more to try and uh, you know, do more content with Jinx. But but yeah, uh, things should be, are definitely going to be changing here. Things are in motion right now, guys. I just wanted to put that out there that it could affect the channel uh, so that I don't have to say this later. You guys will know what's going on when I say, hey, you know, there's not going to be a video today. Uh, but hopefully uh, that won't be the case. We'll see. We'll see how things go, guys. Uh, but but yeah, essentially I won't be at the hospital doing what I've been doing uh, at least for the next week and a half. And I don't know, guys. I don't know if I'll be doing it much after that either, man. I really feel like uh, because I don't want to go full time again uh, that they're kind of pushing pushing me out. I, I don't know. I just I just don't have time for it though, guys. And I'm just kind of stuck in a in a position where you don't want to lose your job, but at the same time, like. Like the kids are home and, and they're in, you know doing online learning and, and I do the YouTube and it's just, man, I don't know. I don't know what to do. But anyways, uh, those are my problems. I uh, just wanted to kind of, you know, uh, put put this information out there so you guys know. Uh, let's go to get started, guys. Uh, so I've already moved the, the planes around. Uh, we've got the invasion of the Soviet Union going with all of our armies under control of the AI right now. Because basically there's just no, uh, <laughs> there's no Soviet divisions to cause us any issue, which is the main reason why I don't typically allow the AI to control anything, because they, they suck, you know, they, they do a terrible job, and, yeah, I mean, like, I don't even know what the AI is doing right now, in fact, I mean, this is just all craziness, and, like, yeah, attacking across the river here with three divisions, completely unavoidable here, uh, I mean, you might have to attack somebody across there, perhaps, uh, because it's 18 hours, but, you know, at least lock them down. And see, yeah, just like they, they go straight to the river. Like, I just wish they would recognize the penalties of the river. I guess that's that's my main gripe with the AI. Uh, you know, out of all these times that I've... And I say this all the time, so I know many of you guys have heard it before. Oops. Ooh. But I think, like, that's the main issue with them. If they just fix that, I think the AI would perform so much better. Uh, I'd be willing to bet they would do a much, much better job. All right, so they're going to go this way instead. If they just uh, fix that one element, you know, that the AI doesn't know about rivers. Uh, so, we should have them capitulated this episode. That's the hope, anyway. Uh, so, we'll just have to we'll have to see how, how much progress we can make. Uh, let's go and have, instead of you guys doing this, let's go up this way. Uh, but, yeah, I hope we can make some good progress here and maybe even get the peace treaty this episode. Because, uh, remember, the Soviet Union... And, well, there's China, too. Never mind. Take that back. I was going to say Soviet Union is the only one we needed to defeat. That is not actually the case, though. So, we we're trying to cut these guys off here. We'd need to get some more wins before we could do that, though. We'd have to at least get, yeah, like one of these two provinces here. There's a lot there. I'd prefer to cut these guys off. I wonder if we took these two provinces. That might be enough. Let's try it out, guys. We're going to try it out for size. See how it ends up going. Let's go and move all these troops. And what we're going to do is we're going to attack right here. Try and cut these guys off. That would probably be an e uh, uh, easier one to take, though, I suppose. I mean, neither one of these have fortifications. But these divisions are incredibly weak. Uh, so I guess that's where we'll attack. We'll go ahead and take some divisions and throw them into here. And uh, let's also take... Let me see how the best way to do this would be. Well, we'll move one of these guys here over to here. And then just send two of those into there. And what we'll do is we'll just support these. Support this attack here. 
All right, so hopefully get the win there, and then we'll take that province, and then we'll need to take this one, and then I will cut all these guys off. So we're going to try and make that happen, guys. Just try and get some wins over here since, uh, you know, we've been fighting over there for a long time on the defense, and now it's about time to get them capitulated. Uh, so uh, we can take all these guys out and throw them into this uh, other army that we have here that we've been kind of building. I think it's these guys. Nope, it's not those guys. Uh, is it these guys? Nope, not them either. It's those ones. There we go. Beautiful. All right, so yeah, we're just going to move them over here because we'll probably be going to the Americas, I suppose, since Soviet Union's done with. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at what we sunk up here. Just got some more convoys. Oh, yes. God damn it. I forgot all about this. Luckily, we had the divisions moving, but yeah, I did forget about it. And they did get the port there. Uh, so we're in like a terrible situation here. Bye. I had forgotten all about this, guys. Uh, it's just not good. Uh, so this is what we're going to do. Let's go and start with these. I don't want to move too many divisions over here because I'm a little bit worried about supply. So I'm going to move these guys over here. And then with these guys, we should probably set up fronts, but that's not really possible just yet. But we're going to have to if we don't want... Oops, no, 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 we don't want to do it that way. If we don't want them moving. So these guys are all here trying to get that port back, and that's not going to be possible. I do feel like we are in a very bad situation here, guys. Attention! All right, so we're just going to have to try and cut that guy off, I suppose. Let's go here. Now, they might be able to beat us there uh, one day in 11 hours. Let's take a look. Uh, one day in 11 hours. Uh, so we do not have our planes here. Um, we did get that, that air base back, though. Uh, so let's go to move the planes that were here back to that air base. Uh, though I don't know. Okay, so this guy's here have him come over here and help us and then I want to say I also have some close air support I moved over here yeah uh, so let's go and take these and move them here as well provide us some close air support try and get control of the skies hopefully let me see if there's anything else that we can move here we do have the tactical bombers here uh, and then of course uh, these guys okay yeah they're coming from over here what I might do is go ahead and have these guys these, these fighters here uh, help us out okay so they're right there yeah, they wouldn't get good coverage there. We'd have to actually move in here. Uh, so, yeah, we'll do that. And then with the uh, tactical bomber that's here, we're also going to have them help us out here. Uh, I, I know that's important to get these convoys sunk, but not the same that are, you know, bringing troops over here. But at the same time, we need to get the win here, too, because uh, we're in a bad position there. It's not like those troops are cut off from supply. Yeah, but I forgot all about this, guys. So we're going to have to uh, really focus on this front to get this done. Uh, we are winning there. And let those guys move. We also finished up the research of our uh, tactical bombers. Uh, so we'll have to get those guys building. And we need to get these strategic bombers too. Uh, but let me just see here what what we might also be able to get. Uh, we'll get this done in 43 days. And then we'll be able to get the uh, nuclear bombs, which is about a year away. Somebody said it was going to take three years to get nuclear bombs. I don't know where they come up with that number. Uh, just to get the techs here, it would be about a year yeah, it'd be about a year to get the, the both of the techs done, which we should have the nuclear reactors built by that time. So if we build enough of them, it shouldn't take that long to get uh, an actual atomic weapon. So I don't think it's going to be three years, but maybe a year and a half, a year and three and four months. Yeah, so I don't know if we'll ever be able to use them, but we'll still try and work towards getting them, guys. Uh, we should also go in and get the radar. We don't have that yet, so I think that's what we might end up getting. Yeah, let's go and get the radar, guys. It's going to be 156 days to get that. Good God. But I think that'd be helpful for both uh, the land, sea, or I guess land, sea, and air, I should say. All three. Uh, and let's go and take a look at the situation here and see if uh, we got the win yet. Not yet. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be going slow going because in addition to the front here, which we have to constantly manage because of stupid stuff like that. Uh, in addition to, you know, having to uh, help the AI out here. Uh, we also... Have those other fronts we got to be managing too. Uh, but yeah, I don't want them like just sitting around not doing anything as you guys see them doing now. Uh, they're just not getting things done here. Let's have this guy come all throughout here. And he can go across there. So yeah, just kind of manage it by making sure that we have troops moving at all times. Now we've got these guys here that can get destroyed, so let's go and make sure somebody does it. Attention. And then uh, have these guys here go this way, they go that way. See, I mean, you got like two divisions going to the same location here. Yeah, it's just kind of uh, getting a little bit confused here. Not sure how to to deal with this. We'll have 
these guys go up this Attention. way. Oops, well, they go that way. Attention. All right, just try and make them a little bit smoother in their operations here. They stop, you know, doing really, really dumb stuff here. All right, just make sure these guys continue uh, pushing forward up here. Mm, same with these guys. Just keep pushing forward. Just kind of micromanage it just a little bit. So it's a little bit more efficient. While we kind of focus on this front where we are in a bad situation. Good God, man. This did not go the way I was expecting. Um, I, you know, I, I was uh, I was just missing it, man. Like, they were they were there. Uh, and I just, uh, I, was, I was so busy staring at the, the Caribbean that I wasn't seeing the invasion here. Now, it doesn't help the United States also has blue. So, I mean, if that, that was like a big bright red or yellow or something, you know, just different country. Or even, you know, Germany's color. Just anything that, you know... Is much different than the blue then maybe i would have noticed it been more likely to see it but yeah i just didn't i didn't even see it guys all right so let's see what else we want to get here uh so i think we might go to get the strategic bomber research bonus next and then after that we're gonna go back onto the other side and get a couple things that are over there and this will let's get us more dockyards got some outdated equipment in production that's right we did get the the new tactical bombers so let's go ahead and get those building. Uh, not that we, it looks like we're actually whacking factories for some of those, in fact. Uh, we sunk a American destroyer there. Uh, but yeah, they got a lot of troops here, guys. This is something to be concerned about. Um, if we can get them more submarines, we will. I want to say it's the green fleet. Yeah, the green t uh, fleet that's over here. So what we're going to want to do is just take these guys and have them join there. So we'll have another submarine uh, with this uh, destroyer. Again, he'll just probably pop over here and we'll, we'll get those managed a little bit later. Uh, I'm not too worried about uh, the naval situation until we're ready to focus on America, which I don't even know if we're going to invade them yet. I haven't decided uh, if we're going to do that in this campaign because we're also about to invade the United States in our Portuguese campaign. So invading them two times on the, at, the, at almost the same time uh, on two different series seems kind of redundant, especially because we weren't expecting to be at war with them. Uh, but at the very least, I wanted to get Soviet Union defeated to get the uh, peace treaty, which... We need to defeat China too. Uh, speaking of that, let's go and take a look and see if uh, we got the win here. We did, uh, so we need to connect there, but there, there's too many divisions and I'm not gonna attack across the river here. There's a problem here where these troops are about to get cut off that does require us to then attack fortifications, which is you know, not desirable here, but little choice in the matter. Because you can't let them defeat us right there. Uh, you do have these guys also attacking, so what we'll need to do, you know, actually let's send this guy in to help out here anywhere to stop these attacks and what we can do is then attack these guys here again for the same purpose of trying to stop them from cutting us off there so we'll see how that ends up going uh, we've got the win here we just gotta wait for those divisions to get over there and we'll dip on over here things are gonna go super slow with me controlling all these fronts now now given this one is under the control of the AI but man I'm just trying to avoid some of this stupidity man if we can uh, it, it's hard to do but uh, we'll try but again, that's, that's the main thing I really don't like, is them attacking across the rivers, just because you take some massive casualties with those. It's it's ridiculous. I'd say uh, a good chunk of the AI casualties that they take are attacking across rivers and attacking high-level forts unnecessarily. Uh, so let's go have these guys push forward here. And uh, these dudes push forward up this way. All right, so I know that there's still some divisions that we could kind of move around, but uh, let's, again, try and focus over here. So... These guys are now ready to be destroyed. So let's go ahead and have these guys attack here now, I, I, just to lock them down. Uh, same thing with these dudes here. Um, let's see if we can't destroy them. All right, so we will get that one division destroyed. Now we need to work on getting these divisions destroyed here. Let's go and make that happen. Uh, and we have another division coming up, coming up over this way. Uh, make sure these guys are signed here. So hopefully we can hold there. Uh, until we get these uh, American divisions destroyed. This is a total of three American divisions that we're destroying here. Now the problem here is of course that they have a port and it's in the mountains. Uh, so this is this is gonna be difficult guys. Uh, getting them dislodged from there. It's gonna be a problem. Sunk an American light cruiser. So that's good. Also sunk a Soviet submarine here in the Black Sea. And I, I just can't, uh, I just can't stop these guys from doing stupid shit, man. <laughs> like, no matter what I do, uh, you can't stop them. 
All right, we're gonna take uh, two of these guys, have them come over this way. And yeah, like, just stop, man, please. <laughs> it's frustrating. I just find it incredibly frustrating when they do this stuff, man. Because it's just, uh, it's too costly, man. It's just too costly. Let's go this way. Uh, we've got this guy attacking over there. Uh, I could have cut that guy off, but they decided not to. And let's go ahead and make sure we get this done up here. Start pushing forward up this way. It's going to mess the front up a bit because of the, uh, uh, the, the fact that we have, uh, this, this will be split into two separate fronts, and that'll probably confuse our AI a little bit, unfortunately, but right, we just go straight over this way now. Alright, and let's go and grab that province. And these ones. Alright, lovely. Alright, so let's just go and dip up along the line here, and again, just try and fix things as best as we can. Cut those guys off, kind of force some, uh, troops to... You know, cut, cut Soviet troops off. Uh, we'll make sure well, they don't actually need to go there. Uh, those guys can are already doing it. I suppose that's fine, but let's just get across here. Same thing here. Uh, looks like I've got two divisions going the same location there. That's all right because there's nowhere else for them to go. All right, he's gonna come up over here now. Oops. Have this guy go this way. Yeah, just kind of mainly control this. Make sure that. Uh, it gets done in a semi-rational way. All right, uh, yes, back on over to Indochina. Uh, with all these maneuvers, uh, important maneuvers and all these different fronts, it is gonna cause some difficulties, I think, for us. Here, uh, like Bye. these guys, yeah, they did get defeated there, so that's a problem. We did get to here, but now we need to defeat them there. And overall, this is um, gonna cause us some difficulties, I already know, with this front. We are winning there, so that's good. Uh, but yeah, the issue here is we need to get another division here, so let's go ahead and move over here. I don't know if we can stop them from moving. One day in one hour, one day in seven hours. Yeah, we'll just have to see you guys uh, attacking over that way. Let's try and stop these divisions from moving. But they get there, it takes them longer to get there. Uh, so let's just stop that attack. Let's see here. Yeah, that'll be fine, I suppose. We can always attack across the river if need be. In fact, we are going to attack across the river here just to try and... Uh, and we can keep that guy there. Just trying to keep those guys locked down for longer. All right, let's go dip back on over to here. But yeah, having some situations, man. Uh, so we are winning on both of these now. And remember, we're still waiting on these troops here Bye. to get onto this front. So they can help us out here. About to wipe out all the divisions up along here. Do we have any other naval invasions that we need to be aware of? Uh, yes, we do. We have one here, and then... The Leeward Islands. I'm not entirely sure where that is. Yeah, I'm not sure where the Leeward Islands are. But yeah, they're saying we are getting an invasion. Is that here? No, that's not there. Okay, not entirely sure where the Leeward Islands are, but uh, looks like they're going to be invading those. So yeah, we were planning on doing this invasion here, and we just never were able to, and these guys are supposed to be training. And just weren't able to get it done. All right, so let's just take a look and see how things are going here. Remember, trying to get to Stalingrad, uh, which will be immensely helpful. And just stop all these, any, any of these stupid invasions that go across rivers, we will stop. Right. And also, uh, make sure the troops continue pushing forward rather than running all along the front line. Uh, we have a lend lease offered here. Um, yeah, we'll go and accept that, I suppose. Let's also take a look. We should really see if we're facing any supply issues along this front, because I don't actually know if we are. It looks like we're pretty much good. We don't have a lot of divisions along the front. Uh, a lot less than you typically have, just because there's there's no Soviet divisions to stop us there. Uh, so we've been able to have success despite the the low number of divisions that we have. Ah, and yes, these uh, time these two time sensitive fronts here, where you know we're trying to do things like this, <laughs> not get cut off here, are going to cause some uh, making it difficult to do. All right, so we can now attack there, so let's hurry up and do so. Let's get these guys going over there, and this will cut these guys off now. Uh, all the divisions here will be completely cut off from supplies, so that would be big for us. Uh, so let them complete that objective. I am noticing we are having some, you know, fuel issues. That's okay. It's all right, guys. Uh, we have not won here yet. Uh, so what we're going to need to do is send these guys over to this front and uh, get them attacking and help us out because, for whatever reason, we're not we're not winning there. Uh, and make sure all those guys are there and all these guys are here. And they will not be able to beat us here. Now we just got to get into this uh, port here. Now they've got a lot of divisions there, so they're going to take some attrition. Uh, but yeah, this is 
It's going to be difficult to do, guys. Uh, what we're going to do is go ahead and extend this front out like so. Uh, it'll be one division per province. Um, they can go ahead and take the, the provinces here. I'm fine with that. They could take that and then just cut these guys off here. All right, let's see what we got here. We got light cruiser sunk. All right, we actually are winning there now again. Excellent. And do we control the skies here? That's what I really need to know. Or do they have control? Looks like we do. I don't know where they would have planes at this point because there are no planes up along here. So yeah, they shouldn't be able to have any planes here. Uh, so we should be controlling the sky there. We're controlling the sky here as well. So that's helping us out and speeding our divisions up. Uh, we did win there. And so now once we take that province, which we will have in 11 hours, uh, and well, never mind. We have to defeat it in first. Come on, hurry up and get the province so we can react to that. There we go. All right, so now what we want to do is go ahead and just start attacking everywhere to get these guys wiped out. And uh, we can just stop these attacks here now and like just wait a second or send this guy in. That'd work as well. Okay, so this looks pretty good. Yeah, pretty decent for right now. We won in that province too. Uh, and now we need to stop these guys from, oop, whoa, stop these guys from moving over here too much. And instead have this army cover. Oh lord, this is hard to do. There we go. <laughs> have this army cover that. So that looks pretty good. And I might go ahead and move this guy over here. Since the front is a little bit wider now. Alright, so that should take care of itself. Hopefully we will have to keep dipping back there to make sure they don't reconnect it. Because that would, you know, all the effort we put over there would be wasted. Uh, we have one, for the most part, here. Let's go ahead and move this guy over here now. And they have moved most of the divisions out of here, which is great news. So let's go ahead and do the attack now. Uh, let's go ahead and have these guys come over here as well. And uh, what they'll do is they'll just do straight on over there as soon as they get here. And then we're going to support with these guys here. And try and get that port taken from them as they continue to try and push across that river, which is going to be bad for them. Uh, let's go ahead and dip over to our Soviet front, which was supposed to be the main focus of this episode. But yeah, we got, we've got other issues we have to deal with. So he's coming over this way. We can go and have this guy go over here. Have him go this way now. He's taking that for us. We can go and grab that. We'll have this dude go here. And then maybe take that one next. Alright. And we have one division already taking that, so this is unnecessary for him to do it. Let's have him go up this way now. And uh Let's have him go this way. And I don't know where that division is. Where is he? He's right here. Let's have him go out there Stalingrad instead of whatever the hell he is doing. Alright, so let's go and get these dudes cut off. This should be pretty easy to do. Push forward across here. This guy's trying to go that way. Let's have him go after that victory point instead. And he can go this way. And just kind of uh, get all this territory here taken. And push forward across here. Remember, we got to get really, really far, guys, uh, to to get them to capitulate. It's gonna it's gonna take a while to get them fully capitulated. Uh, looks like the Red Army actually needs a new front. Yes. Uh, well, they're they're continuing here, but we're going to give them a new front anyways. And uh, just kind of stretch this out across here now, and then just uh, execute it, man. Execute it. Let's make sure that these guys continue to push forward here. It's like they're, they're getting it done. Maybe some troops are attacking the same location, but for the most part it's getting done. That's that's what's important. All right, uh, do we need to move our planes? We should probably take a look at that. Uh, so we're in here, that's good. Uh, we need to get some planes over here. We're just about done here. What we could do, well, we don't really have any air bases close by. Yeah, there's really not any uh, ability to go up there just yet. All right, so where our planes are located is fine for now. And let me see if there's anything else. No, there's nothing else we need to be worried about. All right, so getting those guys uh, destroyed. So, yep, it's done now. Excellent. Uh, so what we'll want to do is just take one of these two divisions and get him moving on over here. Help us out with these troops here. And uh, getting the win in that port is going to be yet massive for us uh, because then these guys will be completely cut off from supply. We're not winning now, though, so that's a problem. Yeah, that is a problem, guys. Uh, let's just go ahead and dip through here. We got another light cruiser sunk and go on back over to Indochina again. Another important front where we're, we're doing a lot of stuff that needs to be a uh, human, human managed. Uh, so we won there. We won there. 
And now we just need to get winds in these two locations here. Okay. Uh, they're not attacking us anywhere, uh, except for right there, which they're not going to get through there. Uh, so I think we're good to go. I don't think there's anything else we need to do there, uh, which is good. Uh, so we got another uh, convoy sunk there. And we just take a look and see if we have any more submarines, because, yeah, we are really desperately trying to get more submarines into these fleets here. Uh, hmm. They're currently battling. I'm wondering if I can just uh, throw them in there anyway. This is what we're going to do. We're just going to get a second one start, or third one, excuse me. A third one started here. So I don't have to wait. And we need more uh, task force anyways. All right, so kind of flip back and forth here. We're about to lose there, uh, but we get the win here. What we might need to do is defend with these guys. I really just want to get this done, so I don't really care if they win there. Uh, we've got another two convoys sunk. Another one there. So any troops that they're putting over here, they're losing. They're taking high casualties there. Uh, we do have a dockyard to get assigned, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we have the three submarine ones going right now. Uh, we're still waiting. Okay, yeah, we're still waiting on that battleship. Uh, we want to build that, that one battleship design, which we're waiting on the guns. I think we're pretty close to getting those. All right, so uh, just about got that done, guys. It's ticking in our favor ever so slowly. Let's go and take a look at the... Uh, what we've done here. It's all convoy sinking, seems like. Uh, got a destroyer sunk there, an American ship. All right, so let's take a look here and see if we're ready to kind of finish this attack up. What we're gonna do is have these guys attack here, or they'll go across here. Uh, so these ones will also be doing the same thing. They're pretty fast, so they should be able to get there fairly quickly. And then maybe we'll cut these guys off next, but one thing at a time, let's wrap these troops up first and then get them back up along the front here. Uh, I think it would be uh, good to get that finished since we're, you know, focusing on so many fronts. Let's not get too crazy over there. Uh, and these guys can come over here. I'm gonna need some troops to uh, help us out here, so let's go ahead and make that happen. I'm also gonna bring these guys over here. Kind of wipe those divisions out. We got some divisions here that need to get wiped out as well. And let's go ahead and have them come up over this way. All right, so uh, they should kind of adjust their fronts as they complete those objectives. All right, so we did win here. Fantastic news. Uh, we are losing here, though, uh, but that's all right. We're okay with losing that. As long as we get the port, these guys will be easy to destroy. Uh, of course, it's going to be kind of hard to get the port. It does look like they did push us back there, so that's a shame. Um, what I want to do is like just have the, this army focus on this here, so there's really no reason for them to come over this way. Got a uh, submarine sunk. That's good. So yeah, we're still trying to take it. Now we're fighting three divisions again after we just defeated three divisions. Uh, and I don't know what's going on there. Uh, looks like they're about to attack here. Let's just have them come defend for now as long as we don't lose that, that base. We need more troops for the attack on the port. And we're still waiting on the troops here. Um, they are not... They're taking their sweet-ass time. Okay, I, I see what's going on now. I was like, why the hell are they taking so long to get here? Because they weren't taking the railroads. Uh, we're going to decline. You guys join in just because. And also, it looks like we're having some oil problems. Uh, so we can trade for a bit more. Uh, let's go and trade for some more from the Iranians. And we'll take a look and see if that improves the situation some. Uh, so more convoy sunk. A lot of American convoy sunk. Also some submarines here and there. Uh, but again, those are mostly troop convoys that we are sinking. Uh, so that is uh, quite a big deal. Because uh, that's less troops we got to fight here as they enter into the port. Uh, they are expanding further, which again is, is absolutely fine. It's more of a front they have to, to defend, and uh, frankly it's going to be their undoing because they won't have a port. Now, we do have some troops going here. Let's hope we can beat them. It feels like we've been moving here forever, and uh, we're just moving incredibly slow. One day in nine hours. Uh, when do these guys get there? One day in five hours. So quite problematic, we have to keep fighting these divisions here, we just can't get the, the final win, man. Uh, do we control the skies? We do not, not not fully. Uh, so that's part of the reason uh, why they're they're not moving as slow as I would like. Uh, just seeing if there's any more troops we have. Seems that somebody's supposedly assigned here. Who is that? Oh, the scout plane. Okay, we'll just have him do the scouting here. Also, it looks like we've done a little bit of bombing here. Got uh, two more American destroyers sunk. Guessing those are doing convoy escorts or something. Uh, I don't know if we can actually see uh, what they're doing with their navy. Yeah, we can definitely see what they're doing. Though I'm not seeing any the missions, despite having 100% here. I'm not seeing what missions they're doing in those regions. Are we not close enough? Yes, we're just not close enough. So we can kind of see where they're all tasked. 
Uh, oh, wow, they're going all the way over to here. <laughs> is this, uh, yeah, these are convoy escorts. Okay, so they got convoy escorts going through here. Uh, as far as the ones that affect us, we got naval invasion support and uh, convoy escorting. A little bit of raiding, those are the submarines that are, are there. Uh, but yeah, pretty much just convoy escorts and naval invasion support right now. They're not really doing any patrols and even attempting to really find our fleet over here. It's probably a good thing because they vastly outnumber us. Uh, we got four British destroyers sunk there. I didn't know the British had any more ships. Uh, they don't have anywhere to put them at the very least, it seems. All right, so let's stop again. Just stop the madness here. Stop them from uh, doing crazy stuff. And uh, also should probably try and get this wrapped up here. And just try and get uh, all these troops coming on over here. It looks like most of them were anyways. Uh, but yeah, just make sure... I don't know who's trying to go over to this one, but we got a lot of divisions trying to go over here. Far more than is necessary. Let's just take these guys and come over there. That's good enough for right now. Okay, uh, and do we have any more air bases that we can make use of? We do have one there. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll just move, uh, let me see here. Still could use the support there, I suppose. Uh, we'll move these fighters here. Since they're pretty far away from that zone. Uh, we need to get over here as well. We do have some fighters that we can make use of. Let me just take a look and see where they're at. These are the scout planes. We're going to want to move them a bit forward. Frankly, probably going to want to pull all these guys forward. Have them come over this way. And uh, the close air support can move here. And these guys can go over here. Let's try and get them a little bit closer to the zone that they're in. And yeah, this looks good. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back to this situation. Oh, wait, you know what? We haven't visited Indochina in a while, so probably should do that. Make sure that we're uh, not losing here. Uh, we did destroy those divisions, so now we just need to get them up along the frontier. And uh, what I'd really like to do is try and cut these guys off, if at all possible. Uh, right now, we need to get up onto these fronts, though. Yeah, it looks like uh, we're slowly moving divisions over there. I wonder if we can get one of these guys there soon enough. We'll have to see. All right, so other than that, the front looks good. Uh, we'll just kind of, again, just go back to the defense for now. Until I finish this up, man, we got to hurry up and get these guys destroyed. Uh, and, and we just keep having to fight them here, man. It's unfortunate. Can't stop them from, we just don't have any troops here to stop them, so. Just have to see if we can't get those guys here soon. Uh, these guys are now going over this way, so we're going to want to stop the madness there, make sure they can't leave. And we are, in fact, now losing here. Good God. And these guys will go over this way, and then we'll have them attack there next. Again, just keep them from coming over here. And yeah, it does look like we're about to lose there, man. We just can't get control of the damn port. I really thought we had it. Uh, apparently not, though. It's a mountain province, so it's going to be difficult to attack, no matter what. But yeah, it's, it doesn't look like it's going to be a win here, guys. Yeah, we just have to keep pulling back now, and... Yeah, we're just not able to do it. But we got to keep the pressure on them. So what we'll do is we'll attack with... So I can't get the organization back up. Attention. So we'll just attack with the, the strongest divisions that we have. And uh, might need to also go ahead and attack over here. And just try and keep them from going there. I don't think there's any way to stop this. It's such a shame we, we didn't get the win there. I, I really thought we had it. Uh, but apparently not. We are bombing their larger fleet now. So that's good to see. Uh, getting a little bit of uh, damage onto those heavier ships, which take a while to repair. All right, let's go back to the Soviet front. Well, let's take a look what all this is about. Just some Soviet convoys, hopefully troop convoys, uh, that we're destroying there. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and get these guys attacking here. Not much victory points up this far north, but of course, you know, there are advantages to us uh, just attacking any province. Any province is going to give us... Uh, you know, more war participation, and get them closer to capitulating. Uh, the north is pushed up a little bit higher than the south has. Kind of have uh, fallen behind a bit over here. Actually, let's just have them go after the new capital. Let's have these guys go this way. And get victory points, please. Victory points. Now, it looks like the purple army has uh, gotten messed up again, as has the red army front. Yeah, they are all messed up. So we need to fix these. Uh, I don't know why that we're having. I've been having so many difficulties with the purple front guys. Uh, it's just been, oh, good God, they just aren't. Uh, not, they just like refuse to do their goddamn job. They're, they're the laziest army we have. <laughs> they just won't do anything. 
Let's go and get these guys going up this way now. Green army cover a little bit more. Uh, and in fact, we could probably pull back. Well, the blue army doesn't really have that much of an objective anyways, but yeah, we'll go ahead and pull back on the red army, I suppose. And then just get the uh, purple army's gonna have to like come way up here. And then just pull them back from the current objective a bit. I know this kind of messed the fronts up a little bit, but that's okay for right now. And then we're gonna want these guys, uh, we're gonna pull back. Well, the red army can, I almost wanna pull the red army completely back since there's no more objectives up here. Yeah, I think we will. Let them continue their current attacks, but yeah, just kind of pull the red army back and then have this uh, blue army here extend up to like right there, I think. Maybe that's a little bit too high. All right, that was good. Let them kind of move around and adjust their fronts. Hopefully the AI can handle it. Still, again, still losing here, but we gotta keep on attacking, guys. Uh, we need to keep the pressure on them so they can't ever increase their organization, uh, which is just gonna end up being extremely costly for us doing these attacks. Uh, it's unfortunate it is the way that it is. And maybe send this guy in too. Yeah, just having a lot of problems there. Uh, the mountains, man. Mountains. All right, so let's go ahead and get these uh, factories placed. Again, there's really not anything that we need at this point other than I think the armored cars are still kind of a bit short. Um, but for the most part, we are good on just about everything else. Always need more planes, though, so we'll put them into planes. Uh, let's go ahead and do close air support. Okay. And we got uh, more convoy sunk. So yeah, if we could just take this damn port, we would easily be able to get them destroyed at that point. But yeah, just having immense difficulty trying to get the win here. Hey, that's a real shame. We got nobody to even attack with at this point. I suppose we can attack with them, but yeah, that won't last very long. Nah, that didn't last very long at all. All right, so nothing to be done here, guys. We're just going to wait uh, and probably get organization up uh, as well. Or excuse me, get playing bonuses up because clearly this is uh, going to take longer than I was expecting. Uh, we, we just weren't able to get that port. Uh, they just kept pumping divisions there too fast for us. Uh, we, I, we almost had it. We were so close. Uh, and that would have been big for us because then we'd be done on that front. All right, so these guys are now cut off as well, which uh, wasn't actually intentional uh, that we got them cut off. Uh, that was something that somebody else did. Uh, so we are going to uh, help them out here. Let's go and have these guys come up over this way. Well, they'll come, actually, they'll come up that way. They'll come that way, and then we'll try and help wipe these divisions out. And in fact, let's go ahead and throw him over there and just get rid of that now. So he can come over here and help us out that away. Okay, uh, more dockyards to be assigned too. Uh, just seeing if there's anything we can do here. I better get the win there. Let's go and try. Uh, so we're gonna send we'll go. in a big division and those guys. It's gonna take uh, some of the divisions we have here. Let them go as well. And then we'll just support with some of these troops here. And maybe we'll better get somewhere back here and cut these divisions off here. Uh, we got more dockyards to get assigned. Okay, um, I'm not entirely sure where we're taking these from. Maybe the Soviets? Mm, no, we should already have all the dockyards. I don't know. Not entirely sure where we get them. Uh, so what is the decision that's available here? Recruit in the Soviet Union. Oh, you gotta love these decisions, guys. They're great. <laughs> Constantly having to say, I'm not interested in seeing that. So yeah, they're bringing more divisions over here. Yeah, we're just gonna have to get an organization up, frankly. It looks like, uh, yeah, th th there's just really nothing to be done about it now. Uh, they are taking a lot of attrition, though, uh, although not so much anymore. Uh, they did move a lot of the divisions out, which is great. Um, let's actually have these guys stay here uh, because we're going to be attacking over there uh, probably fairly soon. Uh, and you know what? This whole thing is all dicked up, guys. We want these guys to stay here. And, yeah, it looks like we've lost this front here. Can't attack there. We're still waiting for these guys to get their asses right. over here, man. They're taking a long time uh, to get on over here. Attention. So what I want to do is attack with our strongest divisions, which all of them are pretty weak, it seems. Uh, but yeah, we might be able to get the win there, and uh, then Attention. we'll just throw some more divisions in there. Uh, kind of help us out soon. Yeah, we'll throw a couple more in, try and get the win. I mean, it is red right now, uh, but what we'll do is just kind of rotate yeah. divisions in and out until we get the win. Keep the pressure on them. Uh, we did get our advanced heavy batteries. That's excellent news. Uh, so let's go ahead and see what we need to get next. Uh, I think that's it for the battleships. 
if I'm not mistaken. Yes, that is all we needed for the battleships. Uh, so let's go ahead and get stuff for destroyers. I'm going to go and get the new uh, ship torpedo launchers. I think would be good. All right, so let's go and get the battleships building. Uh, now, I actually already started a design for these. Uh, the Bonaparts is what they're going to be called. However, we do need to add the new guns to them. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, get the, the big guns out there. And I don't know if we'll be changing all these up to four. I wanted to keep them at 32, so I think we might be able to, in fact. Oh, just under that. All right, so what we might want to go ahead and do is just bring them back down to three. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep them at a three for right now. I don't know if we have new radar. I don't think so. Nope. Uh, so I, I think this is good to go. I think this is all we needed to uh, adjust here. So these are the Bonaparte four A's, and you can see they, they have pretty high at, uh, heavy attack and heavy piercing. Let's go ahead and save that. And then we're gonna get these guys building, and this will probably be the last battleship we end up building here. Let's go ahead and get them building right there, and then we'll just pull back the convoys there, and also probably pull back on something else, probably the submarines. How many do we need? We need a lot. So let's just go like that and then back. All right, excellent. We're going to take a look, see if we got any submarines uh, finished building. We're building them very, very quick, uh, so we should. Uh, and we'll need to put one there. And then this guy will probably need to go there as well, but he can't. All right, uh, we'll just leave him here for right now. It's fine. Okay, so uh, this is, of course, the key place for our submarines, is trying to get all of the troops that they're pumping in this port destroyed before they get to the port. Although, haven't had a lot of success with that. Uh, we sunk in a few, few convoys, but not quite as many as I would like. Uh, let's go and take these guys and now send them all in. And then what we'll do is just pull back on the weakest one. And then he can come over here since they seem very, very inclined to leave here. Okay, uh, so we sunk over here, more convoys. Yes, more convoys. All right, and then we got another Soviet submarine sunk. Excellent, so I uh, should be pushing forward across this front. It's, it's uh, unfortunate because I wanted to focus solely on this front, but yeah, we've kind of gotten uh, uh, distracted with other things. Um, yeah, I really wanted to focus on the front and get it done. I really thought we could get them defeated this episode, uh, but now with the way that, that situation in, in South America is going, I cannot say for sure. Yeah, I don't think we will get them get it done, actually, because we are just about done with this episode. Uh, we got a lot of territory left to take. I mean, I know that there's not a lot of troops in between us and them, uh, but it's, a lot of, it's still a lot of territory. And it's, it's tougher territory, too. It's not like easy territory to, to get wins in. All right, so if we could just get this tam, these two damn divisions uh, destroyed here, finally get these guys cut off. Uh, there's no ports along here for them to take, uh, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, Trinidad, I don't think, is in any of the wars. I think they're neutral. And we're still just trying to get these troops up along this front here where they're just uh, taking their sweet-ass fucking time, man. Ecoute. Just, like, get over there. Good God. Where is this? I don't even know where we're at right now. <laughs> uh, so let's go ahead and have these guys go this way. And then go that way. And we'll go over this way as well. And take them some time to get over there, of course. We don't want them getting there on the railroads, though, where they're just incredibly weak. Come on, man. Give me this province. All right, so we've won there. We'll see if we keep it. Uh, let's go ahead and just dip over to Indochina again. Just make sure that everything is good there. Uh, let's see how we're doing. Uh, sunk another Soviet convoy there and another Soviet destroyer. They don't have any ports in the Black Sea, so... They're in a bad position there. Uh, let's go ahead and have these guys push forward over here. And you see how we want to deal with this. Let's have the tanks that are here attack this way. While both of these two attack on over here. Okay, so that looks good. And remember, we did win here, but now we need to... Are these guys at war with us? They are not. Uh, so, taking this province... Yeah, it looks like um, these guys are not... Oh, no, no, they're in the war. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, what we need to do is take this province here, it seems. Uh, or that one, and that would cut them off as well. But let's go for this one. Okay. Beautiful. No reason to bring all those divisions over to that front. I don't know what the hell they're doing. Silly, though. Very, very silly. Okay. Uh, we got a light cruiser and a submarine sunk. Come on, guys. You can get there. 
<laughs> you can do it, man. There, they are moving divisions there, and we can't stop them, guys. So it's all about if our divisions can get there in time, and we just can't. We just can't move fast enough. Uh, we do have control of the skies now, so there's that. But yeah, we're just not moving fast enough, and I can't get to that damn province. And it being a mountain is causing incredible difficulty for us, guys. Bye. Help them out here. Looks like we pushed them back. Now it's just a matter of getting there. Well, not quite. Yeah, we got one day and two hours now. About 24 hours to get there. Let's see if we can't get that win. And I don't know if there's anybody here, but what we'll do is we'll send a division over there. Still waiting for our divisions to come up over here by the time they get here. <laughs> the battle's going to be done. Uh, let's then take a look at these here. Got some more convoys sunk. And even some British convoys that are going through here. I don't know where they're going. All right, so this is just about wrapped up. Let's go ahead and get the, the win here, finish it up. Let's go ahead and attack across here. And you know what? Even though these are all going to get a river penalty at this particular instance, I think it's fine. And he'll attack over there as well. Just go ahead and get those divisions destroyed. And what we're going to need to do is increase this front like so. And I don't know where these guys are going, but let's have them stay here. All right. Looking good. Of course, we are not doing a good job managing this front. Uh, you know, because AI is under control and they're doing a whole lot of sitting around rather than attacking. Should always be attacking, man. Attack. Push forward. And we got them on aggressive, so there's really nothing I could do to make it any faster at this point. This guy's too weak to be attacking. The divisions that have full organization, those are the ones that are sitting around, while the divisions that have no organization are the ones that want to do the attack. Uh, these guys don't have an order, so we need to uh, get, give them an order to finish this up. However, this is far more divisions than is necessary here. Way more divisions than is necessary there. So we'll just go ahead and take a couple of them and move them on out of there. Also, supply is going to be a problem here. So that leaves like uh, maybe six, seven divisions. So that's even that's more than is necessary. All right, so bring them over that way. Look at the fronts, see if they're they at least have fronts, except for the green army. They do not. Uh, I didn't realize that. So let's go ahead and fix this, make sure that they get a front and they're going to be tacking up down that way. And just go ahead and increase their front as well. Decrease the blue army front, give the green army a little bit more of an objective here. All right. We'll have to probably make some more adjustments there, but the episode's almost over, and I really want to end it by end it by getting this fucking port here, man. Come on, you guys can get there. You guys can get there. Oh, Ten hours. There we go. Thank the maker. We are finally there. Uh, it took us long enough, uh, but now we can get these troops wiped out, uh, which they again we're not able to get another port. Uh, but yeah, they moved very rapidly. They got a lot of territory here. We did sink a, a uh, battleship. Nice. Uh, a couple more convoys here. Okay, so this is going to be a ton of American troops that are going to be destroyed now. Uh, so this is pretty big for us. Uh, and what we're going to want to do is... Oh, Soviet Union just capitulated. Oh, wow, okay, they capitulated much quicker than expected. And we got all that territory. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, wow, okay. I'm um, surprised they capitulated so soon. I uh, wish we could have take the, taken a look and see what they're being impacted by. I guess we can still take a look here. Their stability is actually pretty low. Um, the yeah, stability is not doing great. Uh, 61%, I mean, that's not low, uh, but it's not high either. But yeah, they, they still, they capitulated quicker than I expected them to. So that, that's actually a great place to end the episode with the capitulation of the Soviet Union. Now, uh, all that's left uh, is to get the Chinese defeated, uh, which, if we just take a look, still a lot of work to be done here, so we're going to need to focus a bit more on that. Uh, can we attack? Yes, there is territory, so we can attack from the north. So we'll have to send some divisions over here. So we can begin invading down here and trying to help out and get more war participation. So let's go ahead and take a look uh, at the casualties. So we're taking 202,000 casualties, uh, 66,000 to the British, 39,000 to the Soviets, 24,000 to the Americans. Just kind of take a look at some of the countries been fighting here. 127,000 there. Uh, still haven't really fought main China here. We got uh, 80,000 against the Mexicans. Yunnan here, 193,000. Uh, Communist China, 65,000. 92,000 of uh, People's Republic of Ma. United States, 455,000 casualties. Yes, that is beautiful. We're at 30, 
8% of total warp participation. We need to get that higher, but are we higher than Japan now? That's what's important. We are. We now have the highest warp participation, meaning that we will get to act in the peace treaty first. Excellent. So we need to get that higher, guys. Uh, so far, the only one that's left to be defeated is China, of course, and they are 68% towards capitulation. And that is it. All right. So uh, overall, you can see their deployed manpower is, uh, field of manpower is, is actually comparable to us. Okay, that's interesting. I'm, oh, okay, the Americans. That's right, the Americans have uh, a ton of divisions. An absolute insane number of divisions there. Uh, which is one reason why I was talking about maybe not invading them in this one, because that was never really part of the goal. I wonder if we could seek peace with them. Probably not. Uh, well, let's just see. Offer peace. Uh, it's really hard to do the white peace. Uh, worst score in favor of the other side must be at least 50%, and currently at 0%. Uh, so yeah, and they wouldn't uh, be willing to accept it anyways. But yeah, this is... It's gonna be really difficult to to get a piece with them uh, in that way. However, you notice that uh, the Mexicans are having trouble here. Oh well, I guess that doesn't have any effect because this faction's not at war with the United States. Okay, never mind then. But at the very least, Mexico will be will be dealt with, uh, which helps us out a little bit. Uh, but really, we just need to get these naval invasions going, which we have to first wipe out the rest of these American divisions that are here, and that'll be what we're doing next episode, uh, continuing the fight against China. Continuing the fight here, maybe doing some invasions, and and uh, we'll just see how things go. Uh, so I'll get all this set up uh, next episode, and so you guys don't have to watch it. Get troops moved, planes moved, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, ships moved, uh, and also we've got another naval invasion here. They keep on launching the naval invasions uh, of Peru uh, with uh, no success uh, that I've seen so far. I don't think they've ever landed. I mean, there's only one port, right? Yeah, there's only one port, so and that's the capital. So as long as they protect their one port, uh, they should be good to go. Hope you guys did enjoy this episode. Uh, if you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Do hope to see you on the next episode. And thanks for watching, guys.